way too many friends, really good, smart people, were around the wrong group of friends and ended up killing their careers as they get older. Because it's hard. Your friends are your friends, right? Your buddies are your buddies. And I bet you everyone has a friend that probably might get you into, potentially get you into trouble or something like that. Yep. That will just, that, you've got to be very careful about that. Because I can tell you, sometimes I've heard many major stories about that. Um, Santi, please stop me. What um, I would let's see. What else can I tell you guys? How I found how I found my way. I kind of talked about major influences. Um, who you meet and who you know, right? So I talked about. This. So this idea about who you meet. Most of the most. If you ask me, how do I get new business every day? Like how do I get new sales? It is all based on people referring me. I don't have a sales team. I don't have people call and say, hey, will you give me? Like we don't have that. All of the new business that happens. All the new people that hire me have heard of me from somebody else. There's no such thing as sales, as far as I'm concerned. Just be great at what you do and your phone will ring. That's just the way it's, oh, it, it, it's almost always played out that way. Um, I think that the people that I've had a chance to meet, like my, my mentors in life, I've met a lot of mentors. I've met them as I've gotten older. When I was younger, I had my brother was my mentor. And my father, my family, my father, my mother, like were mentors in my life. And as I got older, I think that I've had business mentors that I've sort of met over time. That I think are important. Um, but I think, I think, as I said before, the most important point is the people you surround yourself with. It's, it's, it's so critical to success. Um, what did I talk about? Here, someone had a question. Um, if you could be something else, what would it be? If I could be something else, what would it be? Starting running back for the New York Giants. <laughs> um, or, uh, what would I be? Would you want to be a DJ? Yeah. A DJ. Maybe a DJ. Maybe a DJ. Maybe a DJ. I think a DJ. That's a good question. My stage name was DJ Revolution. Revolution. Fantastic. I used to work at clubs. I used to work. I used to work at clubs. I used to I used to do hip hop music, house music, and I'd go. I'd walk into a place and not know anyone. What's that? Yeah. I used to work at clubs. I used to work at clubs that I that I should be proud of. This. That's all I want. Doesn't matter. I used to work at clubs that I, yeah, I wasn't even allowed in. I used to work. I used to work at places where they would deny me at the door. I, I, there's now uh, I'm aging myself. There used to be a place called the Limelight in downtown New York where I used to get. A, I would walk up with my Creative Records and they wouldn't let me in. Meanwhile, I was supposed to be working that night. And then they have to look at the manager and they said, No, you come in. And uh, so I was like six. Yeah, sixteen. It was crazy. It was crazy. But that's how I, that's how I did my um, Someone else had a question. What's the most fun part of your job? The most fun part of my job is watching the people around me grow. I have a lot of good people around me, and I hire a lot of young people and watching their talent. I think the most fun is watching, watching people grow, which has to be the same as I would imagine as a teacher in the school, watching you guys grow from grade to grade and excel. I think that's probably the most fun part. What's the least fun part? <laughs> money, money, and dealing with money is the least, by the least thing. I just don't enjoy the most. I hate it. I hate talking about money, and it just makes me feel uncomfortable. I think money is the root of so much stress, and it's unnecessary. And it spills into everything you do. And it's just, you get worried about it. It collects debt, and then, like just everything. I think money is a crappy thing. What's the best thing you've ever read? Best book I ever read. That's a really? great question. That's a, oh, yeah. That's a smart question. What do you think? Um, best book I've ever read. Really? Did you just stop? I think. Uh, very close second. Um, I think I read a book. No, no. I'm gonna give you. A, I'll tell you a, a real, an, a fair answer. You know, when I read a book, you. you you're not going to relate to this. Well, it's called The Millionaire Next Door. That someone wrote a book. And the whole book was, it was my old, one of the, the people at my old university, one of the teachers had written it. And the book was about how people, this is, and this is told, when I was telling you before about live below your means, it talks about how you're going to see people. The person who drives the fancy car, the person who wears the expensive outfit, the person, it, it talks about how people put up a front as though they have money when the reality is they don't. And the whole book about that is very important because as you grow, right, as, you're, as you guys are growing your career, that's where I think money is a horrible thing because it makes you believe money, material things in this world look like you'd be successful or not successful. When I go to meetings sometimes, they think I'm the bike messenger. 
the way that I'm dressed because I'm not wearing the suit. So I'll go to a meeting and they'll say, oh, where are you from? They're like, oh, the messenger, bring the, they think I'm delivering mail. And I'm saying to them, no, I'm actually, I own the company and I'm here for the meeting. And they're like, oh, sorry, sir, because I don't wear a suit. They, people are judged based on what you wear. I don't drive a fancy car. I drive a Honda, I drive a Honda Accord, which I think is fancy. But trust me, there's a lot of fancier cars. I don't think you'd classify a Honda Accord as a fancy car. That's what I drive. I can probably afford something much nicer. But I think the idea about material items and stuff is kind of the root of a lot of bad things. And I think that that, so the Millionaire Next Door is something that I read that kind of really hits upon that, which I think is important. So, do you, um, do you, so right now, you, your life is similar to the book, The Millionaire Next Door, because since a lot of people want to, like you said before, people have um, tried to buy your company yeah. with Laman that you could yeah. live your whole life at. Your whole life are working. Yeah. So you you somewhat as the million next door now because you are successful and you don't live above your means. Or yeah. Yeah. Because I don't. And the thing is, I make a trade off. So right now, I feel like I make an okay living. I I support myself, but I don't make. I mean, I could go do other things. I mean, I don't. My life isn't driven by money. And I stress that. I can't tell you enough because. When I, you know, people will say, they'll look at you based on a car you're driving, based whether you have money or not. There's no evidence. If you look at people in this country who really have money, people who really have money save. They don't spend it. People who drive fancy cars generally don't have real money. They don't. It's just, it's, they, I, and trust me, because I know a lot of people who have real money, who have lots of money. And the way they've done it is they built it and they saved it. Because you save a dollar today, your age, you take a dollar and you put it in the bank today, you say, you put it in any, like, any savings account in a bank. By the time you, by the time you're 50, 60, whatever it is, that dollar is worth God knows what, 40 or 50 dollars. So if you took every 10 dollars you put in, people who, who really understand finance and money, they realize buying a car, a fancy car, a fancy outfit, fancy things, is a waste of, it's crazy. They don't see the man in it. It's crazy. So I think it's important to feel good about yourself at the same time is about saving and thinking about the future. Oh, for a minute? Okay. Uh, any other questions?